pharmacovigilance regulations, Eutovigilance and the Eutovigilance Medicinal Products Dictionary. This module will cover the workings of Eutovigilance. The objectives are to have knowledge and understanding of Eutovigilance. The learning outcomes for these modules are what is a Eutovigilance, what is its purpose, what does it support, the reporting modules for Eutovigilance, current changes to Eutovigilance system, how to prepare for electronic reporting, where to go for further information. What is Eutrovigilance? Eutrovigilance is a system for managing and analyzing information on suspected adverse reactions to medicines which have been authorized or being studied in clinical trials in the European Economic Area. The European Medicines Agency operates the system on behalf of the European Union Medicines Regulatory Network. The first operating version was launched by the EMA in December 2001. What is the purpose of Eutrovigilance? Eutrovigilance supports the public health of EU citizens by collecting safety information on medicines and making this available for scientific assessment. This assessment is carried out by regulatory authorities in the EU that supervise and monitor the correct use of medicines in all EU countries on a continuous basis. Companies that market the medicine can have access to the information relating to their own medicines. In this way, they can have a complete picture on what is currently reported in terms of safety and provide prescribers and patients with up-to-date information. What does Eudovision support? Electronic exchanges of suspected adverse reaction reports referred to as individual case safety reports between the European Medicines Agency and national competent authorities, marketing authorization holders and sponsors of clinical trials in the EEA. Early detection of possible safety signals associated with medicinal products for human use. Continuous monitoring and evaluation of potential safety issues in relation to reported adverse reactions decision-making process based on a broader knowledge of the adverse reaction profile of medicinal products, especially in the frame of risk management. Reporting to Eudrovigilance Eudrovigilance provides two reporting modules with a legislative mandate. The Eudrovigilance Clinical Trial Module, EVCTM, facilitates the electronic reporting of suspected, unexpected, serious adverse reactions, so-called SUSARs, as required by Directive 2001-20-EC. The Eudrovision's post-authorization module, EVPM, designed for post-authorization capture of individual case safety reports, and Regulation Number 726-2004 and Directive 2001-83-EC apply. Also, we have to abide by guidelines on good pharmacovigilance practices, EVP Module 6, which provides information on collection and management and submission of reports of suspected adverse reactions to medicinal products. Further information can be found on the EMA's website. Some significant changes to the Eudovin system have occurred recently. As of November 2017, a number of changes have been made to the Eudovin system. These can be summarized as Firstly, technical changes. The new division database is now on a new platform that supports data receipt of electronic safety reports in either E2B R2 XML format, which is the current format, 
all E2B R3 XML format, which is the new standard. Further details on the XML formats uh, will be provided later on. The other change that's applied to the Udivision system is the application of the Udivision's access policy. Coupled with these changes, the system is fully implementing post-marketing legislation, which puts the onus on centralized reporting of ICSRs to EMA only for all stakeholders, including NCAs and MAHs. There is now a requirement for the reporting of non-serious non reports originating within the EEA.